Well, I grew up on a mill hill, you know, what you say, a mill hill, and uh, there in Whitney, which is right outside of Spartanburg. And uh, I've always liked racing, as far as that goes. And uh, ever since I went to the fairground, or I'd go over to the fairground, they'd be running over on a dirt track there. And I'd go over there and climb a tree and watch the race. Of course, it cost me a quarter to climb that tree. <laughs> the guy that uh, had the tree is in, in his yard. He's right in the middle of uh, third and fourth turn. So he had good seats up there, you know, good places. They say he, <coughs> excuse me, he had uh, planks boarded across the limbs and stuff like that. So, and he charged a quarter to go up there and <laughs> sit and watch the race. And I said then, when I got big enough, that's what I was going to do. You know, I was going to, I wanted to drive a race car. <clears throat> well, see, I drove for Cotton Owens. And then uh, there was a mix up on that deal of reason that I quit in Cotton. And uh, he thought we run off and left him. We had a race in Columbia that night. And uh, he thought that me and the boys run off and left him to drive the truck down and go down by himself. But we had gone to get some ice for the cooler. And when we got back to where, at his to the shop there, you know, and we seen the truck was gone, and so we said he's gonna run off and left us. So we took off to Columbia, you know. But what he done, it, it made him a little mad, which I it would have me if I, if I had run off and left him or something like that. But anyway, uh, he just took the truck and everything, just pulled it back in the garage, and so closed the doors and went home. <laughs> So we didn't know that uh, we didn't know he'd done that. But anyway, when I went in, uh, they said that uh, well, Cotton just fired us for running off and leaving him. I said we didn't run off and leave him. He run off and left us, you know. <laughs> and, but anyway, we found out later that he didn't, you know, before then. And uh, so I went in and talked to him. I said, "What you trying to do? Uh, firing everybody?" He said, "Yeah, so it looks like it." And he said, "If you don't like it, you can go too, just like that." And I said, "Well, I sure don't like it." So I turned around and walked out, you know. And so that was my end of him then. But uh, we, uh, we're we as close as friends as anybody I got right now is Cotton, you know. Ever Sunday that, uh, you know, she's uh, been ill a year lately, his wife. And any time that they can go out to church, we always go by and pick them up and uh, take them out to eat, you know. So we do that. And, of course, we've all, I ain't ever really been mad at him, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, for as many people as I drove for, I've never had a contract. I just always shake hands with them. I say, that's, you know, good enough for me. If you don't want me, I don't want you. Wow. And if you don't want me, you know, and if I don't want you, you don't want me, that's for sure. And uh, so anyway, that's, that's all I've ever done. Is I've never really had a contract as far as that goes. But we had some good years. We won the championship a couple of times. I left there and went with Hall Moody, and it seemed like it, uh, that was the best thing that ever happened, you know, because uh, with Hall and Moody, I run the race. Of course, now I won the championship with Cotton one time, too. And right. So uh, I went with uh, Hall and Moody, right. and uh, we run for the championship. And this car here is is just exactly like the car that I had when I was won the championship, you know. And it's a... Uh, it's one of the best model cars that I've ever seen, and built the way it is. Uh, I don't know of a thing on this that's, that wasn't on a race car. And uh, I can, the way I'm holding right here right now, I see something red on the inside down. What is that, the fire extinguisher? Yes, sir. I, didn't, I couldn't really tell if I get <laughs> on the other side, you know, but it is a fire extinguisher. And everything in there is, uh, and like I say, the trunk opens and it's got the, the fuel cell and all right. that stuff right. in there. Well, tell me one thing. When when we were working on this car, you and I together, I remember one thing you kept telling me because initially I wanted that car, the whole body, the bottom part, to be in blue. But you kept saying you wanted that hood black. Tell tell me. Uh, tell well, me I did. Story about <clears throat> that. The first time we run the car, I think it it was uh, blue. You know? And uh, but. Uh, uh, you couldn't see, especially if the sun was shining, uh, say if we were on our first race or some whatever, but uh, Riverside, California was first race. But uh, the sun, if you're running in towards the sun, and it, was, it was real slick and shiny, it, it would blind you. You know, right. the sun shining into it. And uh, we'd always put tape 
you know, maybe down as far as the windshield as we could. You know, you had to kind of look under it uh, to keep the sun out of your eyes. And so we painted the hood flat black. And uh, that's the way that we, we run it all after we painted it there, you know. But uh, after the first time that the sun was out and I seen it, we knew then that uh, I couldn't run it that way. Well, first, well, the reason I left all my motors there, we was out in Riverside, uh, not, not, uh, not Riverside. We tested there, and then I think we was at Ontario, California, testing. And uh, we just built the car and everything, went out there to test, and we was running real good. And we left and went to eat lunch one day, and when we come back, Charlie Gray with Ford Motor Company, he was there, he said, well, boys, Said so we just pulled out of racing. Said so you might as well just load up and go on back home. And uh, they quit while we was out there testing. And so uh, we loaded up and come home. And uh, anyway, that uh, of course the cars was already built and everything. And uh, uh, John Hallman, I went up and talked to him. You know, after that, I wonder what they're going to do and stuff like that. And he said, Well, we got enough stuff, and Ford's got enough that uh, we can go ahead and keep running. You know, for a year anyway. And uh, he said that uh, he wanted me to drive for 40 <laughs> percent, and I've always got 50 everywhere I ever went, you know. So I said, John, uh, if you think that 10 percent is going to keep you in business, I said that ain't going to do it, you know. I I know that dime ain't going to make no difference to you, but uh, I said I've never have drove for that, and so ain't no need to start now. So anyway, I left then and. Uh, a couple of weeks later, Wood Brothers called me, you know, about it, uh, running for them. So uh, I went to work with them, driving for them.